How about what she said? Wow, you had to change the sheets. What did they look like? Mm. You did. You finished one. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Ah. So I answered the house. I'm like, continue. What happened? Okay. Yeah. I gave him a. Oh. And. Oh. oh. You guys, a lot actually happened in the Big Brother Niger house last year that we, the viewers, like, there are a lot of things we actually did not know. That's because Kayo, they stand to everly disappoint us, maybe not putting the camera at the right time. Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky. If you're seeing me for the very first time, hi. Please consider to hit on that red subscribe button. And please, 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 for those of you who are old and new, turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will always inform you whenever I bring you Amebo. <laughs> anyway guys this see tonight eh, a lot of secrets were revealed the ones we know from the ones where dorothy actually accepted things with her full chest and katrina maybe the dorothy accepting things with her full chest triggered Kat katrina to even confess even for that the one we won't even know like seriously at this point eh, it is just day four and we already seen a lot of secrets oh my god i'm just praying that god let's even the people we are not even expecting to must have done something are you sure they are not guilty? Anyway, guys, the today's reunion started with Ebuka asking Watoni about the triangle that was going on between Watoni, Dorothy, and um, Brighto. And Watoni went ahead to say that yeah, she she liked Brighto, but maybe she liked and was as in her she was weighing it whether she likes or she was using him or something that maybe she did the boat you understand and then she was like how did she feel about dorothy the way dorothy entered in, into the situation she said they had a conversation and they decided for dorothy you remember that night guys that dorothy spent the night in brito's bed hmm. that was the night where the whole drama of tonight actually happened we realized that what only just came to actually disgrace or i think she came to expose dorothy but you know dorothy just turned her lemon into lemonade and we are not even taking it that serious anymore because when watoni said that she realized that while dorothy was at um, brito's bed he actually gave brito a bg and i'm like oh, 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 this is gonna cause fight too but surprisingly surprisingly our dorothy said yes she did it she owned it with her full chest and um, <laughs> Even myself, I don't know whether I will confess that kind of confession for public like this. So like she was like, yeah, she, I fucking did this, I did that, and I'm like, oh, oh, these girls, they are not even trying at all. Because we got to find out that I think that even in the house there, Dorothy told Prince, I think she told some other person about it. And this is one thing I'm still talking about, Kayode. Kayode is not showing us when something is really happening that we need to know about. He's not showing us when certain kind of interesting conversation is happening for amiable people like us because our ear is always standing for this kind of conversation you understand so i don't know i cannot i can't remember hearing whether Dorothy was saying this to prince that she actually gave brito a blowjob and that where she got it done with brito was the fact that after giving brito a bg brito woke up in the morning and walked past her without even saying hello like who does that and the next morning after he him being bright hmm. He literally walked past me. Baelish. And I'm like, I am mad as well. So I'm not going to have it. And I'm like, that's why I told you. Because we barely even said anything to each other. I'm still thinking, who does that? Like, if, in fact, I'm, I'm even angry at, at Brito at this point. Because even when Brito got talking, he actually, like, felt he did not do anything wrong. And then Tukiti was like, Omo, <laughs> at least say hello. Everybody was like, you should have said. Even Ebuka was confused because he he sounded very cold and mean. Because Dorothy was like, that's one thing he actually did not like about him in there. Because he was very cold. And me too. Brito was too cold. And he just felt as if he's using everybody. Because he keeps gingering everybody to apply pressure. When it comes to his own, he was acting as if he was too smart or he was too intelligent or he had everything under control so i just felt like at this point whereby brito got a free bj from dorothy and you woke up in the morning you felt like you didn't have any need to say hello like like dorothy would say he didn't even check up on me oh. i'm like i sucked your i like this energy so what are you on about and i'm like okay this guy is not He's not even what he says he is. You, as in, like, who does that? <laughs> Omo, if Nami, I will feel used because <laughs> even me shame they catch himself at this very point because I don't even understand. So Brito was like, 
she he actually came into the house with the intention of not having any relationship with anybody that whatever the two of them were feeling for him he did not want to hurt anybody by saying no to the person you understand that he just came with the mind that oh my, i'm not having a relationship with anybody and oh my, this is your case i know i don't even know how to explain it anymore because it's just been a back and forth but the the main cocoa of today's gist is that dorothy accepted with her full chest that she literally gave brighto a bj like and we were thinking that erica erica was the one that was doing the most and this big brother Nigeria reunion is just day four we are already hearing revelation anyway moving on we they got to katrina and praises turn katrina praise and lucy's do we say that was a triangle because it wasn't really a triangle but this was ebuka asking katrina what she had with them um, praise and all that and guys to boss your parame again katrina said that praise praise actually spoke to dorothy and lucy who are her friends that he, he cannot have anything to do with katrina that he can, as in he has a fiance outside so he can't have anything to do with katrina that that is what triggered her to be like oh you cannot talk the boss lady down i will make sure i fuck you and she did and that uh, he knows that i like him but he can never ever have anything to do with katrina and nobody does that to me you don't speak you don't speak low of me remember what happened i pulled you to my bed and i and he did not last up to five seconds you heard that not be me talk I'm, i would take katrina talk at this point this is not this is not my real voice <laughs> now katrina talk I'm, you understand and they kept on exposing themselves katrina exposing the facts that when they even went out he also took him to his house or called him to come over to her house and also did it again with him this time around he did not last up to one second ah, praise <laughs> oh, the mouth way they make her fun now what's up what's in the happen? the first time was five seconds now it's one second the next one said you know it won't be last immediately you see him you will come Do you understand so he just made i feel like i was embarrassed for praise because praise was like he did not he wasn't in, into any triangle yes lucy liked him and then um, katrina what 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 and he felt that lucy did not betray katrina even if they had anything to do which they did not have anything to do you understand that they just met and it was just two weeks blah 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 blah, blah. almost whether than one week somebody that sees somebody as a friend if you have anything to do in an environment where the person or with a man the person is interested in even if it's a one second friendship you just you've just broken the girl's code or i mean that boy is the get code i'm not gonna understand the game anyway guys it was time for praise to defend himself like the whole confession this particular night made everybody became very hot. Even me, when they my house, if I clean my face safe, I don't hurt. Kid, why are we wear um, winter coats? Come, remove the winter coats. Everybody was just hiding their face in shame. So my bed, and I. Oh. I didn't. I made sure. I made sure. I didn't, it didn't happen in his bed. I pulled him to my bed, and I. And you know what happened? He didn't last five seconds. I left him in my bed and I went over to the sitting room to chill. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to put some clips in this particular video because YouTube, they are trying to play some hanky panky with me. I don't, I don't understand. But if I can, I will add it. But tonight was just all about exposure. That's Katrina confessing that she has actually done it more than once, a bit more than twice with praise outside the house with praise and praise keeps calling her on video calls that why is this still they were just they were just like she was out to embarrass praise you understand she was literally out to embarrass praise and the only thing praise had to say was that the fact that he denied katrina was immediately he came out katrina called him and told him to deny anything that ever happened that is why Praise now said they had aggressive cuddling and not what we saw. Do you understand that it was Katrina that begged him, you get? I think at the end of the day, Prince accepted him. So I don't understand because he also said when he came out, he confessed to Tulani Bad, he confessed to Prince Guy, and this was like a case of kiss and tell because Asin don't confess and like that. Even if the girl did not come out to embarrass herself like she just did by accepting it publicly, Prince already embarrassed him. Anyway, guys, today's bus goes. So today was not a, a night of bus goes. It was just a night of exposure. They were just exposing to us all the things that we did not see and the ones we knew a little about. They just threw more light 
on it i just hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and please if you have not subscribed hey your people help my ministry subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform me whenever i post a new video take care of yourself guys i'll most definitely see you guys in my next bus bus tomorrow night